I-V-B-N, the Lich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video <coughs> MBTA video blogs and a whole lot more collection my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites RVB and the only video blog on the internet that matters time now is 6 17 in the morning Bellica Massachusetts it's about 49 degrees out in Bellica Massachusetts <laughs> Going to be a mix of sun and clouds today, maybe some rain showers, but this is going to be the same weather for the next week or so. Better get used to it. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do 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 do? The Washington Capitals stayed alive by beating the Pittsburgh Penguins four to two. Game six is in Pittsburgh at the PPG Paints Arena. Also. The Golden State Warriors beat the Utah Jazz, the upper commanding 3-0 series lead. Three NBA games today, game four of the Cavaliers wrapped this game on ABC. And then a doublehead on TNT with game four of the Celtics versus the Wizards. And then game four of the Spurs against the Rockets. And then afterwards, inside the NBA, with Ernie Johnson, Charles Barkley, Kenny the Digit Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News, where I do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my first video blog subject of the day. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about former Red Sox announcer and current co-host with Hardy, Jerry Trupiano on, sp on the Sports Up 98.5. Jerry's been around the broadcasting world for, for over 45 years. Jerry was born and he grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. His real first name is Jerome and he was a big St. Louis Cardinals fan. He went to St. Louis University majoring in broadcasting. His first um his first job in broadcasting was a DJ at the radio station for St. Louis. Then, J Jerry moved to Houston, and he hosted a sports talk show on Houston radio for, for about 14 years. And during the time Jerry was at, in Houston, he did play-by-play -play of the Houston Aries WHA hockey team in the early 1970s. Then for for three years, Jerry was the radio play-by-play -play announcer of the NBA's Houston Rockets. He also was the play-by-play -play voice on the radio of the Houston Oilers, the NFL football team, for close to 10 years. He also did SEC football on the radio and Astros games. And he was a pretty good play-by-play -play announcer. In the late 1980s, Jerry moved to Canada. He called Expos games on the radio in English for about five years. And he also called World League of American Football Games, the Montreal franchise, for about four years. No, for about two years on TSN in Canada. Also, Jerry did some national work in the United States for CBS Radio calling the Game of the Week for about a year or so. In 1993, Jerry moved 
to Boston. And for 14 years, he was the co-play-by-play -play announcer of the Boston Red Sox on the radio with Joe Castiglione. Jerry was a very, very enthusiastic announcer during his time in with the Red Sox. He was famous for this home, for this famous home run call way back, way back, gone. Some people criticize Jerry Trupiano for saying way back, way back too much, especially when a catch was going to be made. And he was such a great Red Sox announcer. But at the end of the 2006 season, the Red Sox decided not to renew Jerry Truppiano's contract, which was a shame, in my opinion. There was rumors that Jerry was going to move back to his hometown of St. Louis, Missouri to become one of the Cardinals radio announcers, but that did not come to be. In 2007, Jerry called Brockton Rocks games on public access television and he was pretty good at it. He also called the NCAA World Series on Westwood One Radio in 2008 and 2009. And since the Sports Hub 98.5 was relaunched in was launched in 2009, Jerry Trupiano host a weekend talk show with Hardy, and they're on both Saturdays and Sundays during various times of the day, and it's a pretty, pretty good talk show. In the early years of the sports hop, sometimes Jerry and Hardy would, f would fill in during the weekdays, and Jerry also called, um, Ivy League baseball games on Fox College Sports for a couple of years in 2010s. Jerry Trupiano is awesome and he, I miss him calling Red Sox games and that's about it on Jerry Trupiano. I'll be back later Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus with my second and final video blog of the night which will be about the review of the WCW pay-per-view Wrestle War night. 1989, which happened 28 years ago today, when Ric Flair regained the world title for the sixth time, and that started a feud with Terry Funk, because Terry Funk was one of the judges. You egg-sucking dog, you dusty roads. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Budden guy. Molly Rose Blunt of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel on New York. So, you're rocking cool. Let's get the best legs in New York City. Bar none. Barbara Gibbs of ABC Love and Sweet Sun Axe and Best Legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in the words of Sean Lucha, get out. Bye now.